everyone! I'm here today to talk about one of my very favourite things, and that is audiobooks. Now this video is being sponsored by Audible. They are the audiobook provider that I use. The opinions in this video will still be my own though, and so what I'm going to do is talk a bit about Audible and why I love audiobooks, and also give you the opportunity to get a free audiobook. There will also be some recommendations in there. So, as you probably know, I'm a little bit addicted to audiobooks. I would say that well over 50% of the books that I read are in audiobook format, and I love that because I can listen to them as I'm on public transport, as I am walking places, as I'm designing things, gardening if I gardened, but if you garden then that's something that you can do um, while I'm cooking as well or cleaning up after cooking. It makes washing the dishes much, much more interesting. I love that I can escape into another world and other people's heads while I'm doing the stuff which is quite mundane but necessary to life. So I've tried a few ways of listening to audiobooks but I find that Audible is the best for me because they have this great app and they have a fantastic selection of audiobooks. They've got just a great catalogue. With the app, you can also speed up the narration, which is something I'm quite fond of. Um, I've talked about this in the past as well, but um, I find that listening to them at normal speed now just sounds really strange. The app is also really good because you can listen across different devices. I listen to them on my phone, but you can also listen on your computer or your tablet. And they always seem to be on top of new releases as well, and I will talk about a couple of new releases in a bit. First of all though, I just wanted to give some quick recommendations in sort of a few different categories that I particularly like. Uh, the first being memoirs, and I've listened to quite a lot of memoirs on audiobook and I think they really work, work well in the audiobook format because often you will have the author narrating and it sort of adds that extra personal touch. So Girls Will Be Girls by Ema O'Toole was a, a fantastic audiobook. The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer is another great one for audiobook because there are little snippets of her music in there as well and it just it feels really personal and it's, it's very, very beautiful and inspiring, so definitely recommend that one. Also, anything that Stephen Fry has written and narrates, because he's great as a narrator, and if it's his own life as well, it's just even better. In the fantasy category, I have marathoned all of the Song of Ice and Fire series. I've also listened to some Robin Hobb on audiobook, which are great, as well as The Lies of Locke the Mora by Scott Lynch and the Patrick Rothfuss novels, which are just great and I've, I've listened to them a couple of times now. If you like sci-fi, then The Martian is a really great audiobook, works very well in that format. Also, the Book of Strange New Things by Michelle Faber and A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Audiobooks are also great for classics and my top recommendation is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas and it's it's so long and so epic and it's it's just amazing because so much happens in that book and you really wouldn't expect it to so that's one that I really, really enjoyed. Also The End of the Affair by Graham Greene, which is narrated by Colin Firth. So Audible asked me to select one of their recent releases, one of their September releases, to talk about, and ever the overachiever, I went and chose a few. So I'm going to talk about three here. I am halfway through the third one, but I've, I feel like I've I've listened to it enough of it to be able to talk about it. The first one is The Wolf Wilder by Catherine Rundell, and this one I didn't actually realise was a children's book until I started listening to it, but it, it's a really fun story, it's kind of adventure story. It's based on this idea that the, the gentry in this world, the rich people, have wolves as pets, and sometimes wolves don't make especially good pets and cause trouble. When they cause trouble, they get sent off to this girl and her mother, and they are wolf wilders. They live in the woods. It's their job to prepare these wolves for the wild. It's an interesting premise, but it's a really fun read. It's a good adventure story, it's some great female characters, and I feel like this would be really good for a road trip if you've got young kids. The second one is Margaret Atwood's The Heart Goes Last, which is one of my quite anticipated reads for the gear, so I was really excited to read this. I finished this yesterday, 
and I actually saw Margaret Atwood talking yesterday as well in Nottingham about this book and sort of about dystopias in general. This is a dystopia. It is a very intriguing sort of read in true Atwoodian style. It has elements of The Handmaid's Tale and Oryx and Crake, I would say. So it's set in this dystopian world and you've got this couple and they are living in their car and they decide to sign up to this prison system. So in this system it's kind of voluntary incarceration but you switch between one month being in prison and one month being out and everything is kind of provided for you. It sounds kind of utopian but of course there's a twist in there and it's not quite as good as everything seems. It's one of those stories where you can really put yourself into the shoes of these characters and you sort of think, what what would you do in that situation? It's a very thought-provoking read, as usual with Margaret Atwood. Finally, I am listening to The Face of Britain by Simon Sharma. It's also narrated by Simon Sharma, which is fantastic, because he is a historian and kind of a television personality. He did a series called The Power of Art. I absolutely love that series and I've read the book as well. So this is fantastic and I love the way he writes but also the way that he delivers these lines and it gives it such a sense of drama and it really brings it to life. And so if you've seen any of Simon Sharma's uh, documentaries then it you will know what I'm talking about. And I believe that this book is the companion piece to a new BBC series which is starting next week so I'm quite excited about that but um, this gives you I imagine a bit more depth and yeah I would, I would definitely recommend the audiobook of that as well. So those are just some of the new releases that have come out in September. They release so many more each month and that's one of the really impressive things about Audible, I think. So Audible works on a credit system and you buy a subscription and each month, depending on what sort of subscription you have, you get either one or two credits and you can use those credits to buy any audiobooks in their catalogue. Being a member also means that you get a 30% discount on any of the stuff in their catalogue and they often have kind of membership specials as well. So it can be quite dangerous at times. I, I have spent quite a bit of money on Audible. Audible also offer a free 30 day trial so you can sign up and you will get one credit and you'll also get the other membership benefits for that month. And if you decide that you don't want to continue with it you can cancel before the 30 days are up and then you don't have to pay. A word of warning though, it's really really addictive and once you start <laughs> it is difficult to stop. I am I'm very much hooked on the audiobook experience. So if you want to get your hands on a free audiobook there is a link in the description, it will be at the top of the description and you can sign up for a free 30 day trial, get your free audiobook and probably get addicted if you're anything like me. If you haven't tried audiobooks before this is a great opportunity. If you have please do let me know about your audiobook experience. Recommend any that you have especially enjoyed or narrators that you've enjoyed um, in the comments below. As always thank you very very much for watching and thank you Audible for making this video possible and I will hope to see you next time. Bye!